It's bourbon night. It's a flight fight. Hello, I am Chad. I am Sarah. Sarah, what is this? This is barrel proof flight fight number four. And you finally... I said it. You finally are able to say barrel proof flight fight. Good if job. I don't think about it, it's a lot easier. Barrel proof flight fight. You try it. I just did barrel proof no, flight fight. No, you at home. Oh, okay. So this is our fourth and final. Our next one are, is going to be the finals. The finals. The finals. Which I'm thinking might be very different at this point. Our Oof. finals, we're going to figure that one out. I don't yeah. think we've ever differed so much. So much, yes. Right. Correct. I know we have one of the same in there. Yes. And we'll see what happens on this one. We shall see. Speaking of this one, Sarah, what do we have? Tonight we have Four Roses 2018 limited edition small batch barrel strength 130th anniversary at 108.54. That is a mouthful. That is a mouthful. Then we have Woodford Reserve Masters Collection batch proof at 125.8. Wathens Barrel Proof at 115.5. And finally, Four Roses Al Young 2017 limited edition small batch 50th anniversary barrel strength at 107.6. Those four roses ones, they yeah, really the, have the, the name. Yeah, the four roses, they like to put the, the words the in words. the title. That's, that's a lot. I guess we could have. Well, I don't think I got done. that in one breath. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was good. That was good. It was good. All right. Well, if you're new to the flight fights, uh, go back and start with the, uh, the part one because you're on part four now. Three one. But regardless, we are trying these blind. We know what's in there, but we don't know the order. Yep. But our order is the, the same. same. All right. Well, let's start it off. Bourbon A. Ooh, ooh. That is a delightful. Dare I say it? This early? Nutty? Uh, yeah, a little. And caramely, so vanilla -y caramely. And buttery. And yeah. It just smells so like buttery. it's going to be a great mouthfeel on the tongue and viscous. Viscous. Rawr. Rawr. It's got some sass. It does have some sass. Oh, man. A little spice. Oh, yes. Yum. Oh. <laughs> that is a. It builds. Yeah, it does build. At this level, it's very tough for us because they're all good. Like, we've had all of these and liked them all. Chad's getting hung up on the things. Well, I don't know if it's um, a, a complex Four Roses, since there are mm. there are two of those in here. I'm getting the feels of, like, a Booker's, which I know isn't in here. It could be the Wathens. It's been a while since we've had that. Could be. It's so warm. It is warm. So it's our highest proof's around 125. Do you think this is... The 125? It could be. I don't be. know, it's so toasty. Yeah, it's 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 toasty, it's a little bit peanut buttery, mm. um, it's silky smooth. Mm -hmm. This what a great way to start off. <laughs> what <Wow>. a bourbon. <laughs> oh, what a bourbon. I haven't even had my second sip yet. Oh, you have because it It's been there the whole time. It's been there the whole time. It was the always whole there. Time. Right here. Completely different so nose. So different. So different. It's more of a musty nose. Maybe that's sweetness. I still gotta get musty. A, a, a little. Not in a bad way. No. In an air, it's just like airy. And airy. All right. Whoa. Whoa. But it's <laughs> that packing. That packs the punch. A lot more in there. Whoo. Than the nose gives it credit for. Right. Wow. You know. That's lingering. I don't know that I can take two sips of these the first time through and then go back. Right. This, it's so buttery. Humana, humana. Yeah, but it seems like lighter. Don't you think? It doesn't seem as goes, high of proof. Yeah, yeah, and it's going more into like a, a caramel finish, um, some light wood. Yeah, I completely agree. More like baked than toasted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not a whole lot of char there, but no. you, you are getting some of that wood. Wood tones. Wood tones. Wood tones. For in there. sure. <clears throat> Popcorn? Okay, that's not what came to my mind first, but when you say it, I can. It's the faintest popcorn. Buttery. It has a buttery, buttery... popcorn yeah. in the distance somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Not like in your lap. <laughs> okay. Maybe like a caramel, you know, caramel popcorn. Oh, cover popcorn. caramel corn. Yes, for sure. Whoa. So toasted, so much char and wood. Nutty. If the, any were nutty, it's this one. I think you're nutty, because I'm not getting nutty. What? I'm getting- The finish on this one is straight up. I'm getting so nutty. movie theater popcorn butter. With, yes, with heat. 
Get out. Yeah. No. Seriously. How you don't get nutty on this is beyond me. Mm. This is like Ooh. toasted peanuts or like ro yeah, roasted peanuts. Boiled that you peanuts? Get. Maybe. I could get on board with some boiled peanuts. I don't know that I ever had boiled peanuts, but I've had like the hot toasted peanuts like at the holidays and stuff. Second sip, I am unearthing more of the nutty. But again, I think it's more of like that boiled peanuts. Okay. Yeah. I give, I'll give. i give you that. But man, it's just super buttery. So this buttery. This is crazy. Spice cabinet? Yeah, spice cabinet and a lot and of brown sugar. And syrup. Yeah, syrup. okay, yeah, brown sugar, yeah, syrup. Maple syrup, yeah. It's just jam-packed with syrup. It smells like if you turned up this glass, it would be like Heinz ketchup consistency coming out like that but slow. Like, like real legit maple syrup yeah. that's like people say it's slow as molasses. Canada, Canada eh? Yeah. Yeah, like some sorghum. Like that type of thing. Sorghum molasses. Will that be in there? I don't know. I don't tune know. out. Tune out. Tune in and find out. Don't tune out. I told him to tune out. Why would you do that? I don't know. What? That is some intense flavorful stuff. Holy molasses. I I'm going to be 100% honest. Huh. I'm a little stuck on what A through C are. I'm not sure. I kind of Oh, but think, you know what this one is. I kind of think C might be the Wathens, but I'm not sure. But I really truly feel like Bourbon D is the Woodford batch proof. Really? Yes. Because I think it has underlying like there's this delicious brown sugar and there's all this heat, but I think in there there's a whisper of regular Woodford Reserve. Huh. Or even double oaked. Okay. And I dig it. I love this proof. It's the hottest for me so far. And that's, it is the hottest. That's why I think it's the Woodford. You think it's the highest proof? Ooh. Not, again, not that they, we always pepper these guesses in. Not that it that's why matter. we're here. No. But, you know, it's, it's fun to speculate. I'm gonna be honest though. That's just my speculation. Other than that, I have absolutely no idea. That is good though. Oh, it's hot. Toasty. I don't remember if this is a Woodford. I don't remember liking the Woodford this much. Toasty in the chests. Ooh, yeah, that's got the Kentucky hug. Mm -hmm. Strong. The Kentucky hug is strong with this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, here's the deal. As we've done with the past three barrel proof flight fights, before we go through the second round, we take a break. We go, we sit down, we let our temperature come. They work. We let our tongue come back to room temperature. <laughs> then we take our temperature. See how no, it is. No, we don't really do we that. We don't really do that. No, we just take a rest because- We take a rest, because going back- We want to give you the most honest and yeah. objective answer. We're so. dealing with some high proof stuff here. So. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to come back. We're going to go second round. See you then. And we are back. Okay, took about a 20 minute break. Yeah. Feeling like we're ready. Feeling refreshed. To go through this again and find out what's what. So, bourbon A, second time, right? Let's dive back in. This smell I'm just in love with. I am in love with this nose. I think it's great. I am predict, well, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna predict, actually. I take it back. <laughs> mm. It's just so light. It's got a yeah. hint of floral, which I like. It does, but also like this spicy. It's just kinda... de very delicate in every ah. way, but it's also got the proof. So I like that about it. I dub this Carlos Spicy Wiener. If you get that reference, put it down in the comments below. That's nice. It is mellow though. I'm thinking this is more of the under 110. Could be, could be. But wow, for being mellow it is it is very easy it, it's easy it's packing a but lot it's a lot there. of flavor yeah yeah it's a lot of flavor and it's a great oh. mouth feel i mm. think it's all around very pleasant it just gave me the tingles a little bit yeah. i don't know if it's because my first <laughs> sip in like 20 i have goosebumps look at them oh you sure do wow it's like this caramel Ooh. brittle that i can just imagine biting and chewing it's just oh it's so enjoyable a little bit of cinnamon in there just a little yeah. just a hint yeah for sure I'll tell you what it's like. It's like a perfectly seasoned insert dish here. You know, it doesn't give me uh, the feeling of like a steak or anything in particular, but it's whatever it is. It's perfectly, perfectly seasoned. Perfectly seasoned. Let's get that right. Channeling his inner Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> That's right. That what you were calling kind of musty? I say musty and it. I think musty has a negative connotation. I don't mean it in a negative way. Okay. I just mean... Vintage-y, you know? 
like something from a time past. <laughs> I from don't know. From the day of yore. Yeah, sure. From the days of yore. From Yesteryear. Yesteryear. Yes Yesteryear? Uh -huh. What other time periods are there? <laughs> I love that episode. On second go through, I very much like A, but I think I might have to give <coughs> B an edge. <coughs> what do you think? I'm, I'm tasting now more what you were describing mm -hmm. of like that antique taste, the leather notes, the tobacco. It's got some depth. It has some age in its flavor. Yeah. It's slightly sweet, which I'm not sure how that's going to play for it in the end versus everything <clears throat> else. But I like yeah. it. I like it a lot. I can't believe you didn't say nutty on this the first time. I'm definitely getting more nuts this time. Yeah. But still... It's like screaming burnt peanut at me. We had a, uh, a very wheat forward wheater earlier today. And I'm just getting reminiscent of that. I think there are also a lot of grains coming through. Yes. yes. This one is kind of grain forward. I was in love with this one the first round. The second round, A and B are so chill <laughs> and mellow and well-rounded and balanced. C is a little harsh. Well, I'll tell you what I... It's a little harsh. What I love about it and what I don't love about it. What I love about it is the finish. What I love, I should say love less, is the palate. So, yeah, I love the finish. I love the nutty flavors. It's got a great uh, texture, but there is this harshness on the palate. Well, it definitely has a lingering heat. Yeah, it does have a lingering heat. I mean, I'm still getting it for sure, but I mean, I really like it. But if we're splitting hairs here, that's what it's gonna come down to. And I think it just has this bit of harshness on the palate that I don't know how that's gonna as, serve it. Not as well-rounded as the other mm. guys, maybe. But it's still so syrupy. Loving this nose. Yeah, it's This great nose and, and A, bourbon A, are just fantastic. Man, oh man. Mm. Yeah, you said it's syrupy. It's straight up syrup. I will say it is a little one note. I think it hits the syrup note, and it just rides that wave through, through, out. Yeah, I feel like first time around I was really into Bourbon D, but- I'm still into it. Yeah, I'm still into it for sure, but I think you're right. It's it's singing a really good note, but it's but not But like, that's the only note it's got. Other notes. Right. It's got some heat too. It definitely, I still maintain that it's the highest proof of the, all of them. I don't know, but Could be. that would be my guess. Could be. All right, w hello, come in. All right, well, we've gone through these twice in this order. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get very analytical. And a little tipsy. <laughs> and a little tipsy, very A, B, and also C, D. Yeah, sure. <laughs> a, C, D, C, uh, about it, and just kind of A, B test, back and forth, different ones, trying this one first and this one against each other, trying to figure out our fourth through our first. Right, and this um, is typically the point where we split up and do our own thing and don't really talk to each other. Um, so and that's why we fast forward through it because it's boring because we don't talk to each other. Yeah, you don't want to. We go into episode. our own thing. Yeah, so. so let's do that. Okay. Okay, okay, Sarah, we've said this before. I think we've said this two we out of the this? four. No, we said it two out of the four times. Well, now three out of the four times. Yes. This was the hardest. It is very hard because... There was no clear and present, no, clear and present first and last. That's right. There's no like very obvious loser the first time through right. or even the second time through. Right. I mean, it's, it's a lot of close tasting and thinking and deliberation. I changed things up two times. Like yeah. I would be like, okay, I have my order. And then I would be like, wait, let me just try this one and this one one more time. Yeah. <laughs> that, okay, that changed things. And then yeah. I did it again and it actually changed my first place winner. I think that I'm at my true tasting point right now though, because I can say like, which one, even though my tongue's fatigued. You have reached taste vana. Right, taste vana. Uh, between this one and that one, which one would I rather have more? Yeah. And it becomes less about the nitpicky, nitty gritty stuff that I was doing in the beginning and sure. more just about what I like, so. And by the, just by the arrangement of our glasses, I can tell that oh. we have the same. We have the same order. order. This never, ha this only happens like. Uh, very occasionally. Yeah, not often. 
All right, so. Go last place? I put C last. Me too. As did you. Let's find out what C is. What? It was the Wathens. That's what I thought it was. I didn't. I thought it was the Wathens. I loved, love this. Uh, but let's let's take a moment to consider. Four Roses Al Young costs? 100 and, what was it, 140? Four Roses 130th anniversary costs? 130. Batch proof costs? Which were batch proof? 30. This costs 90. 90. So. Not that that is always a representation. Not that that's a representation. And this C is delicious. Like, Wathens was the it's barrel It's also sourced. Also doesn't matter. But no, just thought I'd matter. throw that in there. I love this. This was one of my favorites of 2017. However, and it's really good. In comparison to these other three, it was amazing. I love the nutty notes on this. Yeah. The thing that brought it down was there was a very slight harsh note in the middle of the palette. And honestly, at this level, like little things like that are going to ding you. They, so they're going to ding you. They're going to ding you. They're, they're going to cost you they're points. They're going to keep you out of the finals. They're going to keep you out of the finals. So All right. Looks All like right. we put D as our third place. Yes. Bourbon D is Woodford, Woodford Reserve Batch Proof. Now, were you calling D as Woodford Reserve? I made some predictions. We'll read, I put them on the back of a card. We hid it under there. Interesting. I will read the card to you at the end. Hmm. Yes, I did call good. D the Woodford Batch Proof. Really good. Um, really delicious. Buttery maple and syrupy. silky, maple, yeah. yeah. But it was, the thing that for me made it third place was that it had a great note. It was an amazing note, but it was just that one note. Okay. A and B are both four roses. So, so we have A is first and B is second. Let's do our first place, which is A. Okay. Here we go. A, first place is four roses, small batch. The one The one thirty. Dethroning Al Young, which I love. Which he loves. Oh, man. Al Young. And I had, B was what was in my first place before. So it switched between B and A for me. Um, I know, right? This is a shock for you. Now, one moment, please. Oh. My predictions. A, Four Roses 130th, which it was. B, Al Young, which it was. C, Wathens. And D, Woodford Batch Proof, which it was. That's oh. right. I wrote these down early on, and I was right. Okay, fine. So you win nothing. Well, that was fun. Um, so yeah, fun. so as we said, we're gonna have two of the same and two different ones heading into the finals, which will be our next flight fight. We're not gonna do a different flight fight until we do these finals. Until we finish here. this up. Until we finish it. Finish him. Finish him. K.O. <laughs> doesn't say K.O. It says flawless victory. Knockout K.O. In Mortal Kombat, they say K.O. I don't know. They do you say just... flawless victory. Okay, flawless victory. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, so look forward to our finals coming up soon. And um, yeah, so I guess that's it. So if you like what we're bringing to the table here, guys, if you would hit that subscribe button, if you like it, hit the bell notification to know when we put out our weekly episodes. You know you want to know. Yes. And when we go live, which is on Sunday, so two episodes a week. Woo. What else, Sarah? Um, well, you can find these lovely Tribeca glasses and more on our Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. Very good. Uh, you can become a patron, patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Uh, yeah. For as little as $1 a month, mm -hmm. you can join the conversation and be part of our discussion to determine mm -hmm. episodes and just a fun community. Ah, and extras and what's nuts. Where can you find us on social media, Chad? Well, it's very simple. It's at it's bourbon night, Facebook, Instagram, the Twitters. All over those places. Yeah. Mostly yeah. Instagram, but. Mostly Instagram. But yeah. go wherever you like. Go wherever you like. Cool. All right. Well, that'll do us. We'll see you in the finals. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. And until next time, drink more bourbon. I can't. You snap weird. That, I... Ugh. Gross. <laughs>